What's up my beautiful people? Welcome back to a brand new video. Today we are doing part three of the uh, My Friends Pick My Makeup look using this palette because like I say in each and every single one of my videos, this palette literally is so freaking overwhelming. Like, oh my goodness. So, um... Reach out to my friends, my sister, my best friends, my best, my best, besties, biffles. What? Anyways, reach out to them and ask them to pick some colors for me to make a makeup look with. Today's makeup look is Courtney's colors, uh, color choices. So let's get into that. Um, so I was just thinking, okay, that I never really went into depth about like my relationships with my friends so obviously my sister is my sister don't need to explain that but my chame who i did her look last time um we actually met in grade nine of high school so like a long time ago like literally feels like a century ago like a different lifetime ago um and we had French class together. She walked in, this happy little go lucky, uh, curly headed ginger kid who walks into class and wanted to sit in the back. There was no seats available. There was a seat available next to me, so she decided to ask me if she could sit next to me, and that's where we became friends. But we actually became best friends in grade 12 when one of our mutual friends had this whole like drama thing around her which made us closer because we were both friends with her uh, and we're dealing with the same shit so yeah we became a lot closer in grade was it grade 11 either grade 11 or grade 12 I don't remember but we became closer and we've been inseparable ever since so that was from a chame this week Courtney court um I met court on this website called Meta Life, which was created by Sam and Colby here on the YouTubes. And uh, Court was actually the first person I ever talked to on that website. And um, I believe I put a post up, I posted a post on my, like my wall, I guess. It's kind of like, it kind of looked like Facebook to kind of give you guys like an understanding of what Meta Life kind of looked like. But anyways, so I wrote like an introduction to who I was and like why I was on Meta Life and like just all of that. And Court reached out and her and I started talking. Then turns out that Court and some other girl created a Instagram group and uh, I asked the other girl who created it with Court if I could join it. So I joined, she added me into the group chat and um there was a big group of us on there there was like i want to say like 13 of us in that group chat then that 13 turned into 10 of us which we then decided to start a youtube channel together it was called the thought house uh that died really quickly um and so out of that group of 10 i have contact regular contact with court and Jax, and then um Quite often, I reach out to Desi, and sometimes I'll reach out to Brit, uh, but out of that entire group of ten, I only talk to four. That's just how it is, you know? Um, but yeah, so that's how I met Court. And now that I'm done talking, I'm going to talk about the colors that she chose, so give me one second, I'm going to pull it up on my phone. Okay, so, funny thing, okay, so I'm going to have the uh, color choices right here for you guys to check them out. Uh, but funny thing is, is that when I actually got this palette, this, some of these color choices were the colors I was thinking about actually making a look with. So it was really funny that when I asked Court uh, for colors, that she gave me these colors. So I'm excited because yellows and greens are super like complement complementary to one another and they're absolutely stunning together. So I'm excited for this look. I've I've never, um, I've never, like, created, I can't say I've never, I had done green uh, eyeshadow before, but I've never, like, done just, like, strictly green, so I'm excited for this, so let's get into it. So, first, I'm gonna go in with Dyed Up. We're gonna put that in our transition and into our crease. Uh, 
I'm gonna go in with pose on the lid. Okay, so that's the look so far. I literally feel like I look like Kermit the Frog. Um, now I'm gonna go in with bold tape and we're gonna put that into the outer corners and uh, a little bit into the crease. Okay, I think I'm gonna take bold tape and put that on the lower lash line. All right, and now for the final look, I'm going to put Lucky Charm into my inner corner. I've been doing this with like my regular standard natural brown um, eyeshadow looks that I've been doing, uh, and I love it because it makes my eyes pop a lot. So we're gonna put that in our inner corners. That, whoa, I just said that. That is the final like eye look. I'm gonna put on liquid liner. I haven't done this in forever, but I'm gonna put on liquid liner. All right, so liner done. I am going to put on some lashes and then I'll be back with the final look. There's the final look. I never know what to do with my face when I'm showing you guys like the look, the actual makeup, but there's the look. Um, I decided because, well, I didn't decide. I actually only had um, my Kiss 03 lashes, which are like super light and super natural looking lashes, but I think I prefer them more over the lashes that I constantly use. Um, I use like the Demi Wispies. These ones are a lot more like toned down whereas the wispies are like super in your face and like super dramatic but I really like it because this look is more dramatic so I kind of want to keep it more towards the colors on the look than the eyelashes um but yeah I'm really impressed with it I'm a little sad that like the inner corner color you can't really see it uh the lucky charm it's like this gorgeous like yellow right here uh you can't really see it though like especially if I get like super close Will it focus? There you go. Like you can't, you can kind of see it, but you kind of can't. Um, it's a gorgeous color on its own though. Like when I do a very natural eye and I put that in my inner corners to kind of brighten them up a little bit and widen my eye a bit more, um, it's stunning. Like it's absolutely beautiful. There's a makeup look, Court. I hope you like it. Thanks for uh, suggesting the colors. I loved it. It was a lot of fun. It definitely pulled me out of my comfort zone. I would never wear green. I honestly don't really like green um, on my eyes. I feel like it takes away from my blue eyes. I feel like they kind of just fade. <laughs> and uh, I like it when my eyes pop. I almost dropped my mirror. But yeah, I, I thoroughly enjoyed this look. It's nice. Would I ever do it again? I don't think so because like I said, it kind of takes away from the blue in my eyes. But it would be great for St. Patrick's Day. So, do you guys need any St. Patrick's Day um, inspo? Here you go. This will do. Anyways, guys, with that being said, don't be shy. Click subscribe, the little red button down below. Do it, click it, and join the family. Make sure you turn on the bell so you get notified. Blah, blah, blah. Make sure you turn on that bell so you get notified each and every single time I make a new post. Give this video a big thumbs up if you guys enjoyed it. In the comments down below, if you guys know what the palette looks like, throw out four colors that you guys want me to make a look with. Do it. I would love to get some inspo from you guys. Um, I'll leave all of my social media links down below, so give me a follow on all of those, as well as the Blowing a 4.0 podcast. Go give it a listen. It is on... You can... You can find it on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and here on YouTube. Just search up Blowing a 4.0 and you'll find us. Also, make sure you guys go follow me on TikTok because I post on there quite regularly and I love it. As well as go follow me on Twitch. I haven't started streaming yet, but it's in the process. What can I say? It's going to happen eventually. But go follow before... Um, too late just kidding it'll never be too late <laughs> anyways guys that is it for me today i hope you guys enjoyed the video and i'll see you guys in the next one bye